My name is Ulufemi Elias, and today I will be speaking about the law of the International Civil Service, or International Administrative Law, as it is sometimes called. It is well known that international organizations enjoy immunities from the legal processes of the states in which they carry out their activities. Article 105, for example, of the United Nations Charter makes it clear that the United Nations is immune uh, from the legal processes in the territory of its member states. This is extended by the 1946 General Convention on the Privileges and Immunities of the United Nations and by the 1947 Convention on the Privileges and Immunities of the Specialized Agencies of the United Nations. In addition, privileges and immunities have been accorded by states to other international organizations, either through the organization's constituent instruments when they join, or by bilateral agreements uh, with the governments of the countries in which they carry out their activities. 